Hello, my name is uh, Scott Thompson. I am an instructor here at uh, Robotic Family Karate. Uh, today's video tutorial will be on the downward knife hand strike uh, using the lead hand and the back hand. So we're going to go ahead and start by looking at the uh, basic hand shape for the strike. Uh, for the knife hand strike, you're going to keep uh, fingers tight together, thumb in at your side, you want a little curl on your fingertips that will tense up your muscles in your hands and you want to strike with this edge part of your palm. Okay, you want to watch your fingers, this edge part right here. Okay, you want to make sure you keep your wrist straight and a little bend in the elbow. Now we are going to first look at the downward knife hand strike with the lead arm. And we're going to be doing that out of an L stance. Okay, quick review. Okay, turn one of your feet off to the side. You're going to step out with the other foot. Okay, uh, feet are making an L shape. Most of your weight are, is going to be on your back leg. Both knees bent. So we're going to start with that knife hand shape for our lead hand. And I'm going to chamber it right here on my shoulder like I'm patting myself on the face. And that strike is going to come up, over, and through, and down. So you can see, wrist is straight, elbow is bent, fingers in tight together, okay? Fingers curl down a little bit, striking with this part of our hand. It's going to come down and through in that strike. This is the downward knife hand strike using the lead hand out of the L stance. And let's go ahead and look at that from the side. So I'm going to get back into my L stance. Good L stance. Show you this chamber. It's right here, right on the side of your face. And it's going to come up and through and down, striking with this part of your hand. Okay, from this angle, you can see the bend in the elbow and the nice straight wrist. Uh, the bend in the elbow just helps keeping, the, keeping uh, too much tension on your elbow. And the nice straight wrist helps you strike with the correct part of your hand. That's going to come down, knife hand strike. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the downward knife hand strike using the back hand. Now we're actually going to switch stances. We're going to do this one out of a front stance. Uh, same hand shape. That's going to stay exactly the same. Chamber looks a little bit different. We're going to go ahead and set up our stance. Good front stance, front leg bent, back leg straight, nice and wide. Uh, we are striking with this back hand. Okay, nice, get the correct shape of your hand. It's going to go ahead and chamber right out here by your ear. My front hand is just going to chamber out in front, and the strike is going to come down and through. Same thing, wrist straight, fingers tight together, bend in the elbow. Okay. Do a little twist. Get a little more power into your strike. Just like that, striking straight down. Go ahead and turn off to the side so you can see that from here. See the chamber. Right hand out. Strike comes straight down using the back hand out of a front stance. Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at these on a target. This will really uh, help having your strike on a target. It'll help you show the distance. It'll really help you uh, make sure that you're striking with the correct part of the hand. So I'm going to have Mr. Disselcoen shift in here, you, sir. And we're going to go ahead and uh, strike the padded weapon. So what we're going to start with is going to start with the lead hand. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my L stance. I'm going to go ahead and get my chamber correct, get my hand shape, fingers tied together, thumb in. Okay, tense, pull those fingers down, keep everything nice and tense. And I'm going to start with a touch and push. Okay, it's really important to do that because you want to make sure you're getting your distance. If I'm even about four inches further away, I end up striking with my fingertips. Ineffective way, it's not very strong and you can definitely hurt yourself. So just that touch and push. It's really just going to help you with your distancing, getting your wrist straight, getting your elbow bent, 
Just touch with the correct part of your hand and just do a little push through. Once you've got the distance down, your technique looks pretty good. Let your partner know you can go a little bit harder and a little bit faster on these. It's actually a pretty strong strike. Just like that. Get a little twist back. Just kind of twist your hips a little bit as you come through and strike. Now we're going to go ahead and switch. We're going to look at the backhand. Now we're going to go ahead and check the distance also. Bring this up. Okay, good, good shape with your hands. And you're just going to start with the touch and push, keeping your wrist straight and your elbow bent. Okay, just push. Touch and push, making sure you're striking the correct part. Once you got the technique down and you've got the distance down, let your partner know. You can go ahead, go a little bit harder and a little bit faster. Same thing with this, I can kind of twist a little bit into the strike, just like that, making sure you're striking with that correct part of your hand. One more time. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Okay. That is the downward knife hand strike uh, with the lead hand out of an L stance and the back hand out of a front stance. Practice those in the air, get the hand shape correct. Once that's good, go ahead and move on to a target. Okay. Start touch, just a touch and push technique on there to make sure your distancing is correct and that you're striking with the proper part of the hand. Once you've got those two things down, you can go ahead and add some power and some speed to the technique. Uh, thank you very much for watching our video tutorial for today. That is the downward knife hand strike. Thank you very much.